Hi everyone, this is TCG Collector here. And today I wanted to do a quick video regarding listing um, TCG cards or Pokemon cards on eBay. Uh, so from my eBay account, you see that I've been with eBay for the last 10 years or so. Um, I had a good amount of, um, I guess, positive feedback. Uh, so I think that this method has proven to be pretty successful and I'll show you guys, I guess, the process that I would go through in order to list my Pokemon cards. And uh, especially if I'm listing a bunch of cards, um, this can get tedious really fast. So over the years, um, I, I found, I guess, the most optimal way to list cards. Uh, so for the example today, I will be listing a Rayquaza uh, Amazing Rare from the Vivid Voltage set. Uh, the condition of this card, I would say, is a near mint to mint card. Uh, especially uh, for these raw cards, you want to take at least a picture of the front and a picture of the back. And so this card looks pretty good. The usual method that I think most people use to sell their cards is to actually go into my eBay and under the selling tab, uh, people would click list an item. And then from here you continue in and you would basically search um, what card you're selling. So for this, it would be Rayquaza Amazing Rare. And I would have to click into this, click search. And then here um, it'll ask me a bunch of extra details like what the game is. So you have to select Pokemon and then um, continue with these uh, I guess little subcategories that you have to fill out in order to um, sort of further describe what you're trying to sell. Uh, so in my opinion, this is really tedious and I don't really um, have time to do all of this, especially when I'm listing a bunch of cards. So alternatively, um, this is what I like to do in order to save time. And this is what I think the most efficient way to list cards is. So. I would go into the search bar and just search up Rayquaza Amazing Rare directly. And if I have a price point in mind, so around $15, I would say. Um, you can also check soul listings too to get a better idea of uh, what the going price is for this card. But let's say um, $15 is the price point that I want to set. Uh, all I have to do is actually go into the listing itself. So here and then go into um, and then take a look at he down here. It says have one to sell, sell it yourself. So if you click this, what this essentially does, it's it opens up the listing for you and it has all of the, um, I guess the categories filled out, the, the whole form filled out for you. So even the title is uh, very similar that you can use. Um, and then here, all you gotta do is add the pictures so I will add the pictures of my actual card um, here. And then I just sort of double check the condition is right. The numbering is right. And the description is fine. And then here uh, for the pricing, all you got to do is just change it to your desired pricing. So uh, here it would be $15. And then you can add the uh, you know, the white envelope shipping method. So you can just click, you don't know the package size or details, and then you can say it's a letter mail and you can, for example, here you can charge the buyer uh, shipping fee or you can choose to cover the shipping fee. And then you can list it like this. And so I, I believe that this method is actually a lot more efficient uh, since you don't have to go through all of the uh, form again just to um, get one card listed instead here you can use someone else's uh, form that they already filled out and just take their template and put in your own pictures and um, and yeah go from there and so now my listing has been uh, updated immediately and now it's live that helps any sellers out there um, I doubt there's too many sellers actually watching this channel, but you know, in case any of you guys stumble on it, 
Um, this was probably the best method that I found over the years. Um, and it's probably saved me a ton of time. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys on another video. Peace.